you recognized his name. All right, good morning and welcome to Hazen Union uh, for this first game of the soccer season here for the Hazen Union uh, Lady Cats. Uh, we are playing against Oxbow today. Should be a great season. Uh, I'm Griffin Lucher. I'm here with Lee Fontech and Jim on camera. Uh, today we're sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And by Collarwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. And you can catch us on HCTV Channel 1080 and www.hctv.us. So it's a new look for the Hazen Wildcats uh, this year. Lost some of our... Uh, some of our very good seniors last year. Um, so we've got a whole new fresh team, basically. Um, no seniors, lots of youth on this team. But we've got some experienced juniors. And here's Captain Lily Castle getting the ball pretty quickly. She is a, uh, a junior, been playing soccer and basketball for a few years now. Ball taken away by uh, Caitlin Davison. We're all pretty excited to have Caitlin Davison back playing Hazen Sports. Maggie Ellsworth for Oxbow, trying to contain the ball, able to get the retained possession here. All right, Lance Hall would be very excited for a Ill illegal throw-in call there. Uh, referees are cracking down on the throw-in posture. So Hazen gets the ball back. Here's Brianna Gray. Lily Castle, staunch defender, able to break that up. Oxbow's back on it. That ball's gonna trickle all the way into the box and get cleared away by Hazen goalie Madeline Kaiser. And another one for Madeline Kaiser. Scramble for the ball. Hazen's able to get up with it. And here is number six, Aster Wakovich, freshman. Got a call. Looks like a foul. Sarah Collier there trying to defend against Meredith Young. Young gets by her. He's unable to keep the ball in play and regain possession, but right back to Oxbow here. Here's a nice clearance up front. Now Tessa Luther and uh, and Natalie Mitchard are up front trying to take some of those clearances and turn them around. And there's a nice, nice ball right there. So Tessa's on it. Hazel Fahey is able to get that one out for Oxbow. Hadley Allen bringing the ball up for Oxbow. Stolen away by Alexis Christensen. And uh, I was talking with Coach Bissett this morning, and they're a little light staffed here today for Hazen. They've got a nice. 16 player roster, but was able to only field um, 11 players. So he's trying to be creative with his with the players he's got available. Uh, just kind of the beginning of the season, some injuries, some folks with not enough practices, whatever. Um, but Alexis Christensen spends most of her time usually in the midfield, kind of like a um, the the connection player between the midfield and, and the and the strikers up front. She did that a lot last year. 
but he's got her more of in a defensive role here. You can see her picking up the ball there, trying to play defense here against Oxbow. Um, and he likes that because she's able to cut through with some passes. You know, it, it's one thing to be able to take, a, take the ball and turn it into a clearance and just get the ball out of danger. But if you can take that, uh, create a turnover, and then turn it into something by getting a nice pass to one of your forwards, then, then that's kind of a big deal. And that's what Harry wants to have happen here. He's trying to conserve his team's energy too a little bit by making them play in a little bit more of a defensive posture. He's only got Natalie Mitchard and Tessa Luther up front trying to get on the end of some passes and clearances and turn them around. Oxbow with the ball again. But again, this is kind of this is kind of Coach Bissett's plan here. Not you wouldn't quite call it parking the bus, but uh, playing a little bit more defensively, keeping some players in your own half. And now Tessa and Natalie are able to try to try to make something out of out of the possession here that they've stolen. Here's Alexis again, able to Use her quickness to get on the end of that one. And that's out of bounds off of Oxbow. Here's Sarah Collier with the throw in. Natalie Mitchell is trying to find Alexis Christensen. Gets broken up by Oxbow. And that one's gonna get collected by Madeline Kaiser. Here is Aster trying to play against um, one of the Ellsworth sisters from, from Oxbow. Tessa Luther trying to get that one away from Hazel Fahey. Hazen's able to get possession. Here's Sarah Collier with a throw in. Gets it over the head of a defender here. Gabby Stanchu not able to retain possession of that one. Here's Caitlin Davison trying to do something on the left wing. She definitely has, we've seen her before playing basketball. She definitely has a lot of athletic ability. Uh, Coach Bissett is pretty excited for her future as a, as a soccer player, but she's still only a, uh, only a sophomore still. Really nice pass up to Natalie Mitchard. Oxbow defenders are not letting anything through here yet. Meredith Young trying to get around Sarah Collier and can't. And it looks like it's going to be Hazen possession here? No, I don't think so. It's just a substitute. Um, Darcy O'Connell is coming on for Oxbow. She's going to take the throw in. Throw in, tried to find a running Oxbow player, but snuffed out by, by Lily Castle. This is a team that's got a lot of, uh, a lot of freshmen and sophomores, but right now a couple of the, of the more experienced players are are the juniors, uh, Alexis Christensen and Lily Castle, and Harry's got them in at, at uh, defensive positions right now, which is nice. It's nice to have some people with experience who can kind of figure out what's going on with the play and, and, and snuff it out. Holy Castle's been able to do that pretty well, uh, even the last two years as, as a freshman and sophomore. Sarah Collier gets that one out of there. C 
seeking ball. It goes all the way down to the goalie, Madeline Kaiser. No Hazen players or Oxbow players able to get on that one. Here's Mitchard trying to grab that. It's broken up by uh, Madeline Fredella from Oxbow. Both teams jostling for possession over in the over on the far sideline. Looks like Oxbow's gonna come away with that one. Broken up by Bailey Christensen. She's a freshman. Here's Bailey again with the throw in. Hazen's trying to get something going here. Nice give and go there with Caitlin Davison, trying to get to the end of it. But it goes out for Hazen throwing again. Broken up by Oxbow. Oxbow immediately on a counterattack. It's broken up, but they're still moving with it. Here's Alexis Christensen. She gets on the end of that pass. But the Oxbow player, Smith, is able to come up with it. Still working. Nice defensive play there. And the ball goes out for a Hazen throw in. Here's Caitlin Davison. She's gonna power her way through here. See if she can control the ball, but it's broken up by uh, Hazel Fahey for Oxbow. So Davison with a throw. Long throw in right down to Tessa Luther. Here's, here's Mitchard. Almost able to get that through. But Kenna Simmons was able to uh, corral that one for Oxbow. Mitchard finds Tessa Luther on sides and Tessa is able to block off the defender into the box and a goal by Tessa Luther. Really great pass by, uh, by Natalie Mitchard to get up to her and then she missed controlled it there for just a split second but was able to use her body to block off the defender, keep the ball in front of her and then slot it past the goalie. Nice clean clinical finish. That's what you like to see. I mean early on in the season so far, and she's, um, let's see, yeah, Tessa Luther, just a sophomore. She's played, she's played on the varsity team since she was an eighth grader, though, so she got, she got some experience under her, under her belt. That was like a, a no panic kind of shot there. Sometimes you get right in front of the goal, just you and the goalie, and you kind of lose it for a second, but Tessa was just smooth, clean shot. And there's a smooth, clean pass by Oxbow right up to a running Darcy O'Connell. Gets the ball into the box. But that Hazen defense is able to stop it. Huge boot up the field. Tessa's up there, trying to make something happen. At least putting some pressure on these defenders. Get 
Aster Watkovich able to break up an Oxbow play. Winds up in front of Tessa again. Now we got Mitchard and Tessa trying to chase down this ball. Wow, a really nice pass from Aster Watkovich. Right up from, from trying to be a clearance to right up to the uh, right up to the to the forwards. Miss, mistimed uh, header there. And Tessa Luther gets on the end of it and scores again. Good job, Tessa. Good job, A mistimed defensive attempt there uh, from the Oxbow player. Just, just inches away on that header from turning a, a really good stop into a basically just a layup for Tessa. And again, she gets on it. And just slots it right past the past the goalie. Now what Hayes, Harry Bissett told me this morning was that he wanted to start the game in a little bit of a defensive posture. But we're uh, looks like about 14 minutes in here already, um, and you know a defensive posture, but open up open to the idea of of connecting some passes and getting a getting a counterattack goal or two. But now Hayes's defense is. Uh, getting up closer to half field when, when Hazen has the ball. Definitely uh, with a 2-0 with a lead, a little bit more leeway to, to play aggressive and really uh, really uh, tighten, tighten it up here. Darcy O'Connell trying to get that ball into the middle for Oxbow. Dangerous ball, but no one was really there to do anything with it. Gonna be a, looks like a corner kick here. For Oxbow. Um, Emma Parkin is gonna take it, the senior. Balls in, nice long, long corner, but uh, it's corralled in by Madeline Kaiser. Oxbow seems like they're able to get on the end of these these uh, these 50-50 balls pretty well. We've got out for a goal kick. Here's a sub by Hazen. And I'll get this player's number in just a second. That would be number nine, Bailey Christensen, coming in. All right, immediately we've got a ball up to Tessa, but it looks like she was just barely off sides. But you like the aggressiveness. Something that Coach says told me a while, uh, a while ago is that when you're getting called for offsides, it means that you're trying to turn a pass into a goal and and uh, means some good passing is happening. If you're not getting called for offsides every once in a while, then you're probably not being aggressive enough. Tessa's done a good job of staying on staying on size though for those first two goals. A pretty big boot up up. Uh, a field by Oxbow. Here's Davison trying to get the ball away from Oxbow and manages to. All right, and so Bailey Christensen with the throw in. Uh, number three, Gabby Stanchu able to get on the 
on the throw in there, but Oxbow gets the ball back. Defender Emma Perkins kind of leading the charge up front there. Not afraid to get forward. Here she is again trying to make something happen. At least got a corner kick out of the deal. So we got a sub here for Oxbow. That's going to be number four, Madeline Fredella coming in. And uh, Emma Parkin again going to take this corner kick. It was pretty dangerous last time. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if Hazen can, can kind of stymie this. Oxbow starts back at the top of the box and then kind of goes forward as the as the goal as the uh, as the ball gets kicked in, kind of like a kickoff in football. Looks like we got an offsides call. So Lily Castle then takes this free kick. And the problem with Lily Castle taking the free kick is that she's off to the side of the field, leaving the, the center of the field wide open right in front of the box. But Oxbow wasn't able to get that uh, that turnover into anywhere dangerous. Went back right to Lily again. Natalie Mitcher trying to get the ball back here from the Oxbow defender. Not able to. Here is uh, Maggie Ellsworth for Oxbow. Ball kind of bunched up here in the middle, but Stanchi's trying to get it forward. Nobody's really on the end of it. Sarah Collier trying to defend against uh, Oxbow uh, midfielder Darcy O'Connell. Alexis Christensen in a newfound role as defender, able to get on the end of that one. All right. Aster. Aster. Uh, Aster Watkovich, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, uh, but she's been doing really well so far on the on the right side here, able to take take the ball from the defenders, and which, whenever she collects it, immediately trying to get the ball upfield towards towards Mitchard and Luther. Here's McKenna Simmons. Or, uh, I'm sorry, McKenna, no Emma Emma Perkin. For Oxbow, Lily Castle gets on the end of this Oxbow attempt here. <laughs> Madeline Kaiser able to collect that one. Nothing really going on. Um, Oxbow's trying to make some passes into the box happen, but nobody's been there. You can see the the Hazen defenders. Lily Castle's up close to the to the center circle right now, so it's tough to to try to to try to get something going for Oxbow any of these through balls. Hazen with the with the two goal lead right now is able to kind of bunch up, just kind of do what they want. So here's Caitlin Davison, back to Tessa Luther. Broken up by Emma Parkin. So again, uh, we got uh, Darcy O'Connell on the end of a pass there and trying to make something happen, but no Oxbow players up, up front to get on the end of her pass. Sarah Collier gets on the end of that cross into the box. Lily Castle is able to juggle it up a little bit more. And there's Stanchu. Gets around a defender. Gets around a second defender. Now we got a pass up. Collision up front. Looks like Tessa and 
It's going to be Maggie Ellsworth colliding. So here's Emma Parkin again with the free kick. Madeline Kaiser uh, cleans that one up. Collier playing defense. She's got her hands full with Darcy O'Connell on the, on the left side there for Oxbow. Again, trying to get the ball inside for something. But because Hazen is playing so far up, um, Oxbow can't really get any players deep behind them, or at least not uh, anywhere near the goal. Ellsworth trying to make something happen for Oxbow. This ball knocked outside. Here's Sarah Collier with the throw in. Makovic. Matkovic? <laughs> Watkovic. Uh, but immediately gets her head on the ball and just trying to make something happen. Get the ball up forward. Mitchard finds herself with the ball. Surprisingly, and a nice pass by Watkovic up to Mitchard. Her by herself, trying to get a shot on there, but it is uh, picked up, picked up pretty easily by McKenna Simmons, the Oxbow goalie. Caitlin Davison trying to make something happen on the left side of the field. Tessa Luther gets on the end of that scramble. Defender trying to stop her and does just enough to make Tessa's shot go right into the goalie's mitts. McKenna Simmons throws the ball in, rolls it to the, to the Oxbow player on the outside. Ellsworth, Ells Ellsworth, yeah, with a with a long throw in there. And Madeline Fidello with another throw in here. Here's Fidella again with a nice cross inside. That's that's a better look from Oxbow, and uh, causes Kaiser to to kind of leave her spot there and go grab it. But uh, had some players running into the box instead of just the players who, who normally would be the ones running into the box trying to make the pass to nobody. Able to kind of get a counterattack going and keep the defenders with him. So let's see if Mitchell can get on the end of this. Pokes it away from the defender. Tries a shot from pretty far out. But the defender's closing in. You got to do something with it. So good attempt. Um, picked up by McKenna Simmons. Here's Maggie Ellsworth bringing the ball up. That's a nice through ball. Um, but 14, Lillian DeGush not there. Sarah's trying to pick up a, pick out a player to throw to here. Looks like Oxbow's gonna collect it. All right, here's Aster Wakovich. Not able to keep that in bounds. Oh, 
Got 11 minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. Two goals pretty quickly. Probably right around 10 and 15 minutes in into the game uh, by Hazen. They started out a little defensive, kind of shifting their philosophy to get a little bit more aggressive um, around the 10 minute mark and it paid off pretty nicely. Two Tessa Luther goals, but uh, definitely team efforts on those goals even though they were really nice finishes and moves by Tessa. Here's Caitlin Davison. Back to Mav Murphy. Trying to get this ball more to the middle of the field here. But that's snuffed out by Oxbow. Hazen's going to retain possession. That clearance. Here's Davison again. Well defended. Mav Murphy gets it. Still going to scuffle for the ball out, out on the back side. Here's the ball again into the box. Cleared by Oxbow. It's going to be another throw in. Davison with a long throw in, trying to drop it into Tessa Luther. Lily Castle, the huge boot that's honestly kind of a dangerous pass all the way up the field. Mitchell gets on the end of that one. That is Alexis Christensen playing defense and uh, immediately getting right up. Right up to somebody up front with a clearance. Ooh. Hazen almost gets another one there, but a good reflex save uh, by goalie McKenna Simmons for Oxbow. Here's Watkovich trying to get down to the end of that pass. Kaitlyn Davison pokes the ball away from the Oxbow defender, able to retain possession. Cuts inside. Tessa's there. Can't quite get on it, though. Cleared away to safety for, for, for Oxbow. We saw Kaitlyn Davison just barely make a really nice, um, really nice throw, and she was able to get that ball really deep into the center of the field. Lots of times these, these throw-ins from the corner are just kind of pretty benign. But uh, if you can get, a, get the ball in uh, with some distance, then it turns into something dangerous. Oxbow's able to clean that one up. Sarah Collier playing great defense out there on the, on the, I guess it would be her right back position. Um, Darcy O'Connell, looks like she's got some speed and some skill. Um, but uh, Sarah is kind of making her life miserable so far this morning. There's O'Connell trying to get the ball across. That is Christensen playing against Madeline Fredella for Oxbow. We've got another corner kick coming up. Emma Parkin, again, the senior defender for Oxbow, going to try and get this one in. First two corners that she's, that she's thrown in there have been pretty dangerous. This one is cleared away um, by Mav Murphy. Scramble in front of the box again, and a goal. See, that is, I want to say, number 12 for Oxbow, Darcy O'Connell. So again, yeah, corner kicks, dangerous. 
Uh, Hazen got on the end of it, but wasn't able to clear it enough. Oxbow stayed aggressive. They were able to, you know, there's 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 no offside trap when you're when you're on a corner kick. So uh, they stayed aggressive, got the ball back from the Hazen player, got it in front of the goal, out of the hands of of uh, Madeline Kaiser, and, and got a nice shot on a wide open goal. Here's Mitchard trying to get that to Tessa. Broken up. Davison gets a nice ball dropped in there. And I guess we've got Oxbow possession now. Here's Bailey Christensen and Maverick Murphy teaming up to play defense there. Tessa gets on the end of that pass, but isn't able to control it. Drops it right to uh, Hadley Allen for Oxbow. And here's uh, Fredella. Ball's picked up by the goalie, uh, Madeline Kaiser. Got a sub for Oxbow. That's going to be uh, number 10, Brianna Gray coming on, junior midfielder. Thrown in by Ellsworth here, but it's picked up by Lily Castle, able to stop the Oxbow player from getting on the end of that one. Ellsworth tries to get that ball in, looking for Darcy O'Connell, but it's picked up by uh, Hazen goalie Madeline Kaiser. Here's Sarah Collier. Gets the ball up forward. Nobody's able to get on the end of it. Here's Maggie Ellsworth into Brianna Gray. Here's Aster Wakovich. Trying to get Trying to get Mitchard that ball. Trying to steal it away from uh, from Ellsworth there. So here's Collier. Long throw in. I like the idea. Just get it kind of a long ways away so that somebody can get onto it. Tessa Luther trying to get on the end of that uh, Wakovich pass. Deep ball here for uh, Lillian Nagoosh. Stopped by, uh, by Christensen. Here's a run by Kaylin Davison, trying to get that ball to Tessa. She's gonna keep it herself. And that's not a foul. <laughs> Neither is that. She's definitely taking on some damage. Trying to get a cross in. And it looks like it is out for a corner kick. So let's see. I think this is going to be Hazen's first corner. Caitlin Davison going to take it. Looks like only four red shirts in the in the box there, and goes out safely. But another corner kick. Davison again. Taken down by Emma Parkin. The ball safely out of bounds for Oxbow. We got a Hazen throw in. Bailey Christensen trying to get that ball up front here. Here's Maverick Murphy. Caitlin Davison. 
staying aggressive up in the up in the offensive corner there. Trying to make something happen, and Hazen retains possession. So one of those long throw-ins here. Here's Tessa. Not able to come down in front of uh, in front of any any Hazen players. Got a substitute for Oxbow. It's number three, Meredith Young coming on. Kaylin Davison stops that one. Tessa's trying to get on the end of it, but can't. Oxbow with a throw in. Cleared out by Oxbow into a dangerous position. All four Hazen defenders are back. But uh, Lillian Nagouche, number 14, up front, for, up front for Oxbow, trying to make something happen by herself. Here's Alexis Christensen. Caitlin Davison battling against uh, Emma Parkin. Maverick Murphy able to get that one out of out of danger. Just a few seconds left in the first half here. Oxbow's trying to make something happen. They got all their players down front here. Hazen trying to hold on. Hold on for that halftime whistle. Ball in. Ball goes in, but the horn sounds. So we're gonna say. That is a no goal. Wow. <laughs> it's not like basketball. It's not like basketball where if you shoot it, it goes in at, after the buzzer. It's it's you got to get in before the buzzer. Um, so <laughs> really close there at the end. We got uh, halftime coming up. Uh, it's two to one Hazen. Two goals by Tessa Luther uh, for Hazen. Looking really good in the first half so far. Um, we are sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, to support Hazen Athletics, and Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. And we will be back for the second half. All right, so we are back from halftime here at Hazen Union. Uh, we're looking at the Hazen girls playing against Oxbow, the first game of the season, and it's been a good one so far. If you were to tell Coach Harry Bissett that he would go into halftime of his first game with a with kind of a skeleton crew of players here, uh, of available players for his team, that he'd go into halftime at two to one with a two to one lead, then I think he'd be pretty excited about that. But we've got 40 minutes left to play here. Um, for Oxbow to try and get this one back. Uh, we're sponsored today by Buffalo Mountains Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. And this is being streamed on hctv.us. Um, if you, we're, we're trying to get the kinks out here. First time we've been streaming soccer. Um, and so if you need to, you can go watch replays on hctv.us and they're going to be played live, or not live, but on television on HCTV channel 1080. So here we go for the second half. Again, 40 minutes for Oxbow to try to take this one back. Immediately trying to make something here happen. We've got uh, Aster, Aster Wakovich working on the left side, the near side. Oh, oh. 
So Coach Bissett took her from the right side of the field to the left side of the field. Either a tactical switch or maybe he's just trying to throw me off. Um, here is uh, Ellsworth for Oxbow. Lots of time still, you know. Oxbow's definitely got some pressure on him, but there's lots of time to make something happen here. They've definitely been able to get some things going. Lots of corner kicks, lots of balls inside, um, but just the one goal so far. The problem that they're going to run into, though, is that Mitchard and Tessa Luther have been able to turn just like kind of any old, any old possession, any old ball into a into a counterattack attempt. So it's hard to be pressing to try and get that goal to get back into the game and keep your eyes on on Mitchard and Luther at the same time. Aster trying to keep that ball inside the, the sideline. It looks like it goes out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in here for Emma Parkin. Here's Madeline Fidella trying to get the ball inside. And again, there's um, it's like Christensen getting on the end of that on the end of that play and just immediately going from defense to trying to find either Luther or Mitchard up up uh, up front. Oxbow almost able to get on the end of that pass, but uh, Madeline Kaiser snuffs out the danger there. Here's Sarah Collier. She's on the she's on the left side too. Uh, she and and uh, Aster Wakovich both switched fields after halftime. Defensive uh, strategic change for Coach Bissett. Here's Davison, able to get it up to Mitchard, but she's just a step offside. Alexis Christensen going from defense to offense, right up to uh, right up to Murphy, really quick. And now we got Kaylin Davison in a foot race, trying to get that ball into the net and just outside. But really quickly, a pass from from uh, a, a pass from Alexis up to a, a pass to to Maverick Murphy, turns around and lays it in front of Kaylin Davison, turned it into a foot race. Hazen is definitely staying dangerous, and they're not just gonna they're not just gonna rest on their lead and try to try to play defense here. They're gonna try to make it three one. Goal kick for Oxbow and runs right down to Maverick Murphy, but she can't contain it. Here's Aster Wakovich. Bailey Christensen, number nine for Hazen, trying to play defense there. Able to get the ball up, but we've got what looks like a foul. Foul on Hazen, so it's going to be a free kick for Oxbow. Wow, a long attempt there uh, by Emma Parkin. It was either a cross or a shot. Either one would have worked, but it just goes wide. Pretty dangerous, though. So here's Christensen. Trying to get that one going, but it's going to be another goal kick here as the Oxbow player gets on it. So we saw Tessa Luther score two goals early for Hazen. Coach Brissett has basically swapped her 
with Caitlin Davison up front. And Caitlin is playing a right winger, at the, or uh, uh, Tessa is playing a right winger. Now here's Aster. She's playing, a, she's moved from right wing at first half to left wing in the second half here. Here's Maverick Murphy. And now we've got um, we've got Caitlin Davison up front playing behind Mitchard, and Mitchard kind of up front by herself. Is Mitchard trying to get on the end of a the ball there? Broken up by Hazy, Hazel Fahey, although she gets it back. Staying aggressive. Hazen's doing a really good job with their forwards of staying aggressive and putting pressure on these defensive players. And it's it only needs to work once uh, to convert into a goal once for it to be worth it. Here's a cross in from uh, Madeline Fridella. Doesn't find its target. Winds up with the uh, Hazen goalie, Madeline Kaiser. Maverick Murphy, she's surrounded by a bunch of Oxbow players. Trying to get that ball turned around and headed up street, but it's broken up. There is Emma Parkin. Before a defensive player has just been all over the ball this game. She's, uh, she's a senior. You can kind of tell she's pretty experienced. Free kick here for Lily Castle. Wow, wide open here. We got Natalie trying to get something on goal. Goes wide. She had options. Good sportsmanship there by Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin Davison. Go, give Nux to to uh, to Natalie. Sometimes you see players like. <laughs> Oh, I was open, I was open, why did you shoot? But just being there and being a threat makes it tough for the defenders, so it's nice to, to recognize that. Like, making a run without any expectation to get the ball, um, still you're doing a really good job, so good good teamwork there, even though, <laughs> even though Natalie took it herself. Goal kick goes out of bounds. We got Sarah Collier on the throw in. The, the Sarah to Aster uh, link up situation here has been working pretty well. Sarah's able to play good defense, get the ball to Aster, and Aster's done a great job of trying to get the ball up front to Hazen's forwards. Now, Natalie Mitchard looks like she's on side. She's got it again. Broken up. Tessa's not quite able to get on the end of it. And here's Emma Parkin again. And again, a defender, but she's making big strides up the field. A dangerous pass. Lily Castle. Uh, I'm sorry, no, that was that was uh, Christensen. Trying to, playing some good defense there. Trying to let the goalie get to it, but ready to hit that panic button and uh, just boot it out. If, uh, if the Oxbow player got there before, before the goalie. That is gonna be out for a corner off of Christensen. And we've seen, this is gonna be, I, I believe the, the fourth corner kick of the game so far for Oxbow. And the first two were, were dangerous and the third one scored a goal. So Definitely something that Hazen wants to watch out for. Oxbow is loading up the box with definitely more players than Hazen did with with their corner kicks. But this is a really good opportunity. So, I mean, that's what you would do if you were down a goal trying to make something happen. Here comes Parkin again with the, with the ball in. Right back to Parkin. Broken up by Hazen. 
Here's Parkin. Yeah, the defender right in the box, trying to make something happen. Shot goes wide. So that's going to be a goal kick. Here's Lily Castle again with a free kick. Drops right in front of the Oxbow player. She can't contain it. Here's Aster trying to get on the end of it. Isn't able to. Now she gets it. Here's Parkin. Not able to connect with Madeline Fredella, so it's going to be Hazen throw-in. Collier up to, up to Aster. Aster wasn't quite ready for it, but Oxbow's not out of the woods yet. Hazen trying to not get caught flat-footed here on these on these throw-ins by, by Oxbow. But Oxbow's making progress up the field. Here's a throw-in by Layla Ellsworth. Into Brianna Gray. Here's Parkin. Parkin again for a defender. Has some really, really good skills here. Able to try and take on these Hazen defenders. Curves the ball inside. This is some danger. And it is stopped by Hazen, but it's going to be another corner kick. No. So Emma Parkin, who spent most of her time back as a defender in the first half, is is, uh, is causing some problems here for Hazen. Booted out by, uh, by, it's like Caitlin Davison. Madeline Kaiser with the, I mean, kind of a shot, kind of a cross. It was pretty dangerous nonetheless. So another corner kick. No one's able to get on the end of it. Oxbow retains possession for a second. Slip up there. Tessa Luther trying to make something happen on the far side. And we've got Hazen throw in. Tessa's got it. Defended by two Oxbow players. There's a cross in. Can uh, Madeline Kaiser corrals it? Kind of a miss hit there on her on her punt out. Hazen trying to clear this one. Here's Aster Wakovic. We've got a handball, looks like. So here's Parkin. I wouldn't be surprised to see to see a shot on goal here. Um, we've seen her take a couple of these already. Drops it right in front of her teammate. Hazen trying to get that out. Here's Aster. Gets the ball into the middle of, of the field. Oxbow clears it out. Hazen retains possession. Nicely defended, defended free kick. Here's Collier. It's Wakovic. Able to get, get that one. Parkin trying to get the ball down the field here. Stopped by Maverick Murphy.
Parkin with a throw in down the line. Sarah Collier's trying to watch it go out of bounds. And it does. Okay. <laughs> it's like a bunt down the third base line. You're just watching it, see if it goes out. A ball in by Oxbow, um, by Madeline Fredella. Nobody's on the end of it. So Hazen gets the ball back. Held him off for s the first 16 minutes so far of the second half, but definitely have run into some dangerous situations here. A few corner kicks, some shots, some uh, free kicks in a, in a deep territory. Hazen's had a couple of opportunities themselves. Madeline Kaiser has put in some work though this half so far. All right to Parkin, broken up. Here's a ball up to Mitchard. Caitlin Davison trying to get on the end of it. Hazen forward staying aggressive. And are gonna retain possession. Collier with a throw in here. Nice ball right into Maverick Murphy. He's trying to get around Parkin. Parkin uses her body pretty good here. But Murphy forces her out of bounds, so we got another throw in for Hazen. Murphy trying to get the ball to somebody, but nobody's there. Cleared out by Oxbow, another throw in. Wakovich in, nobody's there. Oxbow gets it. Here's Murphy to the middle of the park. Stanchu trying to try and get the ball to one of the attackers here. Oxbow breaks it up. Now they're on the counterattack. Lillian Degouche fighting with the Hazen defenders here. Here's Madeline Fredella. Stopped by Collier for a second, but she's going to retain it. Collier picks it back up. Fidel gets it again. Right in the middle. A stumble. Ugh. Kaiser had her hands on it. Stumbled for just a second. And goal scored by number 14, Lillian DeGush. So Oxbow ties it up. The plot thickens. Coach Bissett making some adjustments here. Directing traffic. Hazen's trying to make something happen here right off the get-go. Maverick Murphy tries to get the ball uh, up front. Here's Davison. Looks like she's got put back out on the right side now, where she was kind of more in the center of the field before. Here's Bailey, Bailey Christensen. And there's a nice ball up. Tessa's on side. Just barely stopped there by Parlo. Parkin, excuse me, sorry, Emma Parkin. But yeah, as soon as, just as soon as Coach Bissett swaps Davison for Tessa and puts Tessa back up front. Clean breakaway. Pretty close to taking another lead here. But Emma Parkin just barely got to the end of it. Christensen. Sarah Collier clears it to the middle. Here's Mitchard. Putting the pressure on the defenders here. Kaylin Davison up to Tessa Luther. Now here's 
Uh, Maverick Murphy able to steal it here from the defender. Brings it back inside. And we got a clearance by Oxbow. So here's a corner kick for Hazen. Caitlin Davison lines up. More players in the box this time for Hazen. Trying to get down to the end of this one. And we will do it again. Here we go, right to the Oxbow defender, but it's picked up by Maverick Murphy, back to Kaylin Davison. Another chip in, bobbled for just a split second there um, by McKenna Simmons. Hayes is not able to capitalize, regains her possession. And Oxbow immediately on the attack here. Here's Sarah Collier trying to play defense. Uh, against Darcy O'Connell. O'Connell's back on the right side now. So we have the Collier O'Connell matchup again that we saw in the first half up front here. Here's Sarah. Gets the ball over O'Connell to Aster Wakovich. O'Connell with a dangerous pass in, trying to find uh, Lily in the goosh. Here's Parkin. Nice give and go there. Christensen. Wow. If if Natalie's on side, we might be on to something here. Broken up by the Oxbow defender. And I want to say that is a that is a foul. Yeah, a foul called there on on Natalie Mitchard. Another close call there um, by the Hazen attackers. Nice ball up from Alexis turned into something, turns nothing into something there. So um, Hazen still making some chances for themselves here. Okay, here is uh, Maverick Murphy stealing the ball. That's a foul on uh, Mitchard, on Natalie Mitchard. Emma Parkin trying to pick out a teammate to pass to. Gabby Stanchu trying to get on the end of it. Oxbow is going to gain possession. I think the officials are going to maybe talk it over. Nope, the officials are doing their side switching thing, which I think they do every every once in a while. I guess I don't exactly know the rules, but I do know that every once in a while, the referees switch sides of the field. Oxbow retains possession. Here's Parkin. Hazen's got the ball, trying to get the ball up to one of the forwards. Here's Natalie Mitchard again in a foot race. Trying to make it happen. No, no call on the contact. But Mav Murphy putting a lot of pressure onto number five, Layla Ellsworth here. Oxbow defenders have their hands full. Eventually they come up with it. Here's Wakovich trying to get it back for Hazen now. Here's Parkin, trying to get the ball up the line, just barely trickles out of bounds. Sarah Collier with a throw in. Ooh. 
Sarah gets juked. Ball gets by her, but picked up by Alexis Christensen. Uh, substitute for Oxbow, number 10, Brianna Gray coming on. Here's Emma Parkin with the throw in for Oxbow. Maverick Murphy and uh, Lillian DeGouche tussling for the ball there. Lillian DeGouche normally way up front, but way back in the backfield trying to get possession of that ball. Sarah Collier trying to get on the end of this one. Here's DeGouche again. And Collier is able to get the ball off of DeGouche, out of bounds. Ma um, Maverick Murphy and Aster Watkovich trying to link up there on the throw in. So here's number five, Layla Ellsworth for Oxbow with the throw in here. And here's Emma Parkin, again, up from the defense, trying to make something happen here. Takes a shot. And that's going to trickle down into the woods. So danger is averted for Hazen, but we're not out of the woods yet. Not the woods yet. Uh, here's Aster Wachowicz trying to get on the end of the Lily Castle free kick. Goal kick, rather. Oxbow still able to put some pressure on here. Lillian Gush trying to get on the end of that. Uh, Really high pass in there. Sarah Collier trying to get the ball out of danger and does. It's going to be a throw in for Oxbow. Here's Degush. It's give and go. Degush has got it back in the middle of the field. Hazen trying to clear it. Here's Parkin way inside. Side netting on a pretty much a right angle shot there. It was going to be a tough one. So Castle here with a, another uh, goal kick. Right to Maverick Murphy, who's wide open. She's going to get it to uh, Natalie Mitchard, who's battling with Avery Bruce. <laughs> Trying to find Tessa Luther up, up, uh, up front here. Oxbow defense is able to get back pretty quick. Had three defenders between the ball and the goal. So even if Tessa was able to get on that, Oxbow had it pretty well shut down. Here's Parkin with a shot. Goes wide. Lily Castle, goal kick is kind of a whiff there. So here's Parkin. And uh, Maverick Murphy is able to, to contain her there, not able to get a shot off as the Oxbow player. Out comes Madeline Kaiser, able to clean up that one. Let's see what we can put together here. Here's Caitlin Davison trying to get the ball. Able to get it upfield a little bit. Madeline Fridella trying to get the ball in beyond the Hayes and the Fenders, but can't. Stopped by Sarah Collier. Collier tries to get that one to Wakovich, but. Not quite enough power on the sh on the pass. Oxbow gets gets uh, gets possession. 
We've got nine minutes, 50 seconds left in this game. We're going to start seeing potentially some fatigue setting in. Now, I mentioned before that Hayden's got really no subs um, to speak of. So it's definitely like if, if, if fatigue is going to start to set in, here's where Oxbow's uh, bigger rotation is going to start to come into effect here. Really nice clearance right out into a dangerous position in the, in the center of the field. And the Oxbow defender immediately has to get into panic mode. Here's Natalie Mitchard. Dumps it back to Maverick Murphy. Now she's got all kinds of field to work with. Tries to get it into to Tessa Luther. Picked up by the defender, Alexis Christensen. The big clearance there. Really playing some no-nonsense defense back there. Just immediately getting these getting these clearances out and up front into a to a midfielder or attacker just as, as well as she can. That's Gabby Stanchu, who was battling there against uh, Meredith Young for Oxbow, trying to go down the field, trying to prevent a corner kick, but looks like the ball went out off of Hazen in the end. So again, we've seen Oxbow score off of one of these before. They're always going to be pretty dangerous. Oxbow's got some height. Oxbow's got the ball in a dangerous position. Looks like it is going to be a goal kick. So Oxbow got the ball at their feet, but Hazen got away with one there. Off the corner kick. The Castle goal kick goes to Oxbow player. Castle clears it out again. Here's Natalie Mitchard. Trying to find somebody. Here's Gabby Stanchu. Up to Tessa Luther. Can Tessa get the ball and beyond this defender? Pokes it through, and she's got it. But now the Oxbow defense is, is caught up a little bit. She tries to find Natalie Mitchard. Can't. Here's Maverick Murphy. Lily Castle and Lillian DeGouche battling pretty hard. Here's Alexis Christensen getting on the end of that ball. Here's Kaylin Davison trying to make something happen here. Bobbling a little bit. Oxbow picks it off. Here's Partlow, or uh, Par <laughs> Parkin. All right, Maverick Murphy up front to Tessa Luther. Tessa wasn't quite ready for it. Didn't get on a didn't get on a good run, but she stole the ball. She's able to be taking that ball. Here's Maverick Murphy up through to Natalie Mitchard, but trickles through to the goalkeeper. Is Aster trying to get some pressure on these defenders? Christensen again, able to convert like a defensive position with a dangerous ball. Once she gets on it though, it's like immediately up on the other side of the field. That's a really valuable, uh, really valuable ability. That's gonna be a foul on Maverick Murphy as both she and Layla Ellsworth kind of went uh, both of them hit each other instead of the ball, so. <laughs> Here's Emma Parkin. Ball up through. Here's Lillian Degouche. Nobody's, nobody's there. And an incredible goal. Really, really nice shot by Lillian Degouche. Just a great through ball. Great through ball. Got on the end of it, one dribble, outran a bunch of defenders. She broke the offside trap, squared up. Nice shot. She's 
she has definitely been dangerous this game. And, and uh, yeah, from 2-0 up to behind by a goal. Hazen's got their work cut out for him now. Here's Murphy battling with Madeline Fidella. Oxbow retains possession. Collier gets that up to a good position here. Kaylin Davidson trying to get on the end of it. All kinds of bumper cars going on in the middle of the field. No whistles. Here's Fidella with another, with another throw in. Christensen, again, from a defensive position, right up to Caitlin Davison. Caitlin gets it up to let Tessa Luther. Can Tessa get around this defender? Drops it back. Now it's Natalie. Can Natalie get on the end of it? These players, <clears throat> the players, they all look pretty gassed at this point. Tessa and Natalie and the def Oxbow defenders have been running, running and running. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in the game. Here is, uh, here's Aster Wakovich. The throw in uh, to Maverick Murphy. Maverick gets fouled. Now we got a free kick here by Kaitlyn Davison. Pretty dangerous position, probably Probably as dangerous or more than a corner kick. We'll see what happens. There's a wall. Lifts it up and over right into the goalie's hands. A, a worthwhile attempt though. McKenna Simmons uh, able to able to get that one. But it's a that's a that's a tough angle for a goalie because you're not worried about left and right. You're worried about like forwards and backwards. If she's able to lift that up over her head and into the back corner, there's just nothing that the goalie can do there. Shaw was on target, which is, which is difficult enough from that kind of an angle. So here's Lily Castle playing defense against uh, Lillian DeGush. Clears it outside, but Oxbow's still with it here. Bailey Christensen clears the ball out to safety, but Clearing the ball out to safety isn't what you want to be doing with two minutes and 30 seconds left in a game that you're down by one. So Hazen's going to have to take this and turn it around. We've seen him turn some defensive positions into really quick counterattacks. But I would imagine that Oxbow is going to try and be ready for that kind of eventuality. Sarah Collier, last line of defense, clears it out a little bit. Danger's not gone though. Collier defends again. Cleared out by Christensen. That's a hard play to make too. Left footed, moving ball. Get it into a good position there. Okay, Oxbow gets it again. Christensen up. All right, there's Madeline Kaiser gets the ball. Tries to punt it up field. No his players really around. Here's Murphy. Can't contain it. Collier, again. Staunch in defense. It's a goosh for Oxbow. Trying to play patient, maybe a little too patient. Gives Haves in the ball back. Just a minute to go though. Now there's a nice play by Alexis Christensen. Now can Natalie Mitchard get on the end of it? Emma Parkin, who has been just kind of all over the place in this game, is able to snuff that one out. Gets the ball to safety. Here's Caitlin Davison in the throw in. Gets it in pretty deep. Maverick Murphy trying to make something happen, get inside. Here's Aster. Ball's in a dangerous position. Natalie Mitchard tries to get on the end of it. Kaylin Davison 
Oh, Tessa Luther almost there. Dangerous move a little bit there by goalie McKenna Simmons, but she's able to keep the ball on the inside of the box, just barely away from the feet of Tessa Luther. Picked it up and uh, able to just barely wind the clock down there. So, really good signs uh, from the Hazen, Hazen girls team here. I mean, of course, would have loved to walk away with a win, especially going up after, uh, 2 nothing in the first half there, but really good signs of life here from a very young team. Kind of can only go up from here. Uh, so you gotta like that if you're a, if you're a Hazen fan. Uh, we were sponsored today by Buffalo Mountain Sport, uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. Excuse me, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Uh, I'm Griffin, and I'm here with Leaf on Tech, Jim on camera, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.